In this video, I'm diving into seven of my all-time favorite tips for manifesting everything you want and deeply desire. Consistently, reliably, and predictably. You ready? Let's go. Hey friends, Tammy M. Joyce here, empowerment life coach, creator of the Freedom Class and the Ascension Class. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please take a second to say hello and introduce yourself in the comments section below. And if you're back, of course, welcome back. Thanks for showing up and for tuning in. Either way, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when I post new videos throughout the week. So let's dive into my all time favorite seven tips for manifesting everything you want and deeply desire consistently, reliably, and predictably. Number one, get clear. In other words, it's important to know exactly what you want right down to the details. Write it out every day. Envision it. Feel the feelings of being, doing, or having it, whatever the it is for you. Clarity is king when it comes to manifesting what you deeply desire. So take the time to get super, super clear. And naturally, while you're getting clear, you'll have some thoughts and feelings arise that tell you the things you want to be, do, or have are not possible for you. Which leads me to my next tip. Number two, deal with limiting beliefs. Do whatever you need to do to consciously up-level, look at, feel into, understand, and then reframe, or better yet, completely disprove whatever it is that comes up in you, telling you that you can't be, do, or have the thing you say you want. In other words, annihilate any and all limiting beliefs that come up for you as they come up. Do not ignore them, don't suppress them, or try to sidestep and avoid these thoughts and feelings in any way. Instead, look them dead in the eye so you can transmute them with the power of your consciousness, your presence, your awareness. Now, you can't do this if you aren't willing to really pay attention to what's going on inside of yourself, what you're thinking and feeling, and then take the time to work through whatever it is that comes up when you conjure thoughts and images of what you deeply desire. If you want anything to change for you, if you want to manifest your heart's desires, you're going to have to do the inner work first to identify, then shift, and then heal anything and everything that you carry internally that says that you can't have it or you're not worthy of it. This is about making conscious the subconscious, whatever it is that you carry subconsciously that is holding you back or tripping you up. And yes, it's work for sure. Consciousness is work, friends. There's no way around that. We can't be lazy about this stuff if we want to experience real lasting change. Now from there, number three, you're gonna wanna build your belief. Being able to manifest what you want and deeply desire consistently, reliably, and predictably requires that you have faith. You have to believe not only that it's possible, but that it's a done deal before it appears in your reality. You have to have faith, believe, be completely convicted, even when it looks like it isn't gonna happen. In fact, especially when it looks like it isn't gonna happen. And you have to hold that belief, that frequency, as consistently as you can. Now here's the thing. Having this kind of faith is not only a choice we can make, but also a muscle we can strengthen and develop through making the choice. The choice to redirect every niggly little thought or feeling that again comes up inside of us telling us we can't, it's not possible, or such and such happens to others, but never to me. Come on, is that the ultimate truth? Or is that a lie you bought into a very long time ago that now informs the reality you're creating, unconscious as that might be? Your job is to build your belief, build your faith, to where you know you are powerful, a powerful creator of your reality, a master manifester, able to consciously create the reality you'd really prefer to be living on your terms, the circumstances and experiences that you want to create in your life. You have the power and the ability to do that for yourself, but it all starts with belief and faith, once you're clear. And if you want to go deeper into the subject of becoming a master manifester, you'll probably find this video here really helpful. Number four, shift your identity. 
What's true is that you can want and deeply desire it, whatever the it is for you, but if you do not also deeply identify as someone who is a match to that thing you say you want to be, do, or have, or experience, you are never going to call it out of the ether and into your reality. There is no amount of hard work or doing that is going to make it happen, not in any real or lasting way. And even if you do work long and hard enough to bring it into your reality to some degree, you will inevitably sabotage it or find a way to tear it all down if it is not a solid part of who you are, who you identify as on a subconscious level. Whether you realize it or not, your subconscious identity is the driver of all the things in your life. And therefore, that's where the change has to take place first if you want to see it in your external reality. Remember, your external is a reflection of your internal reality, your internal truth, both subconscious and conscious. So you must be it first, embody and carry and identify with it first. Then and only then can you manifest it into your reality in any lasting way. Make sense? Good. And if you want to go deeper into the subject of how to reprogram your subconscious mind and shift your identity, you can watch this video here. Now, comment below and let me know whether or not you're finding value in this video. Let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you'd like to learn more about the possibility of working with me in one of my coaching programs, there's a link in the description below this video where you can apply to see if you qualify for a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with either myself or a member of my team. Now this is for you if you're ready and able to invest in yourself. You're ready to shift your identity, master the law of attraction, heal your relationship with money, and put a full stop end to the limiting beliefs and self-sabotaging behaviors that are holding you back and preventing you from living your best life. If that's you, the link is in the description below this video. Number five of my all-time favorite tips for manifesting everything you want and deeply desire be solution focused. And what I mean by this is be willing to feel into the problem temporarily, but just long enough so that you can A, properly diagnose what the issue is, and then B, get into the appropriate solution. The solution that will actually move you forward. So this means no bypassing. Always, always be willing to tell yourself the dirt honest truth about what's going on and why. Again, no bypassing here, right? Then from that place of truth and wisdom and discernment, you'll be able to pour all of your time, energy, attention, and resources into the solution. Even if the solution you have is to go seeking solutions that actually work, you have to try new things and different things until something takes. Be willing to be coachable and open to the possibility of solutions, even miracles showing up for you. Which leads me to my next point, number six. Ask for and believe in divine benevolent guidance. That's right. Ask for divine benevolent guidance to guide and support you in manifesting your heart's desire. And then trust that that guidance and support is showing up for you. Now, maybe not in the way you think you want it to or expect it to, but it is happening. You just have to remain open and trust in faith that if you want it, if it is the desire of your heart, it is possible for you. You can and will be divinely guided and supported. But you have to ask and believe faithfully. But it doesn't end there, which leads me to my next point. Last but certainly not least, number seven, do your part. Now here's what I mean by this. We don't just sit back on our couch waiting for divine guidance, support, or miracles to show up and ring our doorbell. We actually have to be willing to do our part, get into action, maybe even massive action, but never action first. Always, always energetics first, mindset first, managing your state from the inside first, truth, clarity, belief, and faith first, getting clear and aligned, inspired even first. Then take whatever action you know will move you in the direction of being, doing, or having the thing you know you're meant to be, do, or have. Make sense? Good. Now go get it. It's time now. 
And on that note, I'm gonna call it a wrap. But before I go, I have a special announcement to make. You might be interested to know that the Ascension class is now open for enrollment, and I am so beyond excited to bring you this next level of growth, expansion, and evolution. That is this transformational coaching container where we are having a whole ton of fun. If you want to go deep with me into the work of reinventing yourself from the inside out, becoming the you you were always meant to be, then this is for you. Be sure to click on the link in the description below this video to apply to see if you qualify for a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with either myself or a member of my team.